Welcome back to the Riverside Show. Now, recently, as you know, the STV Appeal raised an amazing £2.6 million to help children living in poverty here in Scotland. A truly amazing amount. But here in Glasgow, we also have a proud history of ch helping children in need much further afield as well. And we're joined now by the organisers of Art for Africa online auction, which is looking to do just that. We've got Michaela, Lynn and Brian. Thank you very much for joining us on the sofa tonight. Um, now, Michaela, tell us a little bit more about what Art for Africa is for and about your charity, Star Child. Well, the charity um, Star Child was set up in memory of my brother, Frankie Marsh, who was Ugandan. He was adopted into our family in the late 60s, so we were basically brought up like twins mm. um, in Glasgow, so it was quite an unusual thing in its day. And um, Frankie died, and um, it took a while for me to be able to go to Uganda, but it was something I always wanted to do, was go there. And um, once I'd gone and I'd seen the amount of need, I really decided it was time to, to start the charity, and with the help of family and friends, we created Star Child. And what is the poverty like in Uganda? It's immense. I mean, to put it into perspective, there is as many orphans in Uganda as there are people in Scotland. No. So we work with the most That's vulnerable strange. children, and um, one of our main projects is to build a school for these children mm -hmm. um, that would really have no hope of education, because I really do feel that education is the key. So it's, um, it's quite an ambitious project, but um, the artistic community have certainly come on board. Yeah. Um, so is Art for Africa to, to raise money for the school and for Star Child? It is. I mean, basically, when I was touring around in Uganda and I was looking into the education system there, we interviewed a lot of children and teachers and, and I really felt, you know, they were very much focused on the academic um, pupil. Mm -hmm. They all want to be doctors, lawyers, you know, things like that. And not everybody is academic. And I certainly wasn't particularly academic at school. And if it hadn't been for the arts at the school, probably mm -hmm. I would have felt a bit lost and vulnerable. And these children, you know, they're bruised and battered as it is emotionally, mm -hmm. a lot of them. And I just think that arts gives them such a, you an know, outlet. A, an outlet, exactly. And it was missing. So we really put a call out to the artistic community here to help us with, with the programmes that we want to develop in the school. Mm. And you've got McTears involved as well, which, Brian, you're obviously the MD. How is the auction going to work? Um, well, it's such a privilege to be involved in it so quickly after the STV Appeal um, auction that finished a week today, um, last week. And um, basically the system is, again, it's the same platform. It's called Time Bidding. It's a bit like eBay. Um, you put a bid in and uh, go through the platform, which is uh, www.gallery1842. Dot com that will take you to the Art for Africa auction. You can register very quick. It will take you 30 seconds to bid, uh, 30 seconds to register, and uh, then you can place a bid. You can place a bid as your maximum. If you can only make it now, you're going to be on holiday or whatever. Um, put a bid down the maximum you want to bid, and the system will bid for you. So it's absolutely simple. There's um, just over 80 paintings, 80 works of art in the uh, um, in the auction. Many have got good bids on them, um, like the one by Peter House in here. Mm -hmm. Um, many are there to be bought for as little as £50 um, or a little bit more. For a great cause. And Lynn, um, you're one of the artists involved in the project. We've got a Peter Housen um, uh, painting there. You've got some, you've brought some of your work with yes, you? Yes, I've well. brought along um, Orchid. It's a, an original pastel. That's pastel, stunning. Which is Absolutely going beautiful. to be up for auction. I think it's got a couple of bids already, hasn't it? I think we've got five bids on oh there. Oh my goodness, yeah. that's great. Five <laughs> Fantastic. There. There £70 go. aside just now. Well, that's good. I want that up. Um, Fantastic. And Lynn, how did you get involved in the project then? Um, I met uh, Michaela and Ronnie through uh, the, the powers of social media on Facebook. <laughs> And I saw the call out for um, the members of the artistic community in Glasgow, who are notoriously very generous anyway. And I responded by offering a couple of pieces for the, for the auction. Brilliant. Absolutely. You must feel you must feel great to be part of something like this and make a difference. It's absolutely wonderful. I think, you know, living in this country, we have a fantastic education system where the arts and color, really, really encourage, you know, music, drama and art. Over in uh, Uganda, this is just no. not the case, as no. Michaela told me all about it. So, yeah. well, listen, wonderful. It, it's a great charity, and this is this is a great initiative as well. And Brian, when does this auction close? And just remind us where we the can auction bid. closes on the third of November. So there's still plenty of time to get uh, to get bidding, and it's 24 hours a day. 
Gallery 1842. Gallery1842.com. Brilliant. Thank you all very much for joining yeah. us tonight on Thanks. the show. Thank you. Thank you. Now, earlier on, we heard from Colin, who spent the day rummaging around at the Borough Collection, one of the most amazing personal collections ever gathered anywhere in the world. Colin, what's your day been like? 